Hey everyone, and guess what? It's that time we need to get the cakes and presents because it's the Nintendo Switch's second birthday. Or at least it was a few days ago. <laughs> well, I guess the Switch won't mind. It's an, it's an inanimate object, and they don't have feelings anyway. So the Switch has been on the market for over two years now, and I just thought I'd talk about the system itself, and just some of the games, and just, you know, talk about how the past two years have been. So let's get started. So the console itself I thought I'd actually talk about first, and well, not much has changed. I mean, they've added some cool stuff like um, being able to record the past 30 seconds of gameplay for a lot of games, but um, that was like over a year ago. Still kind of cool though, however, for a lot of games like Smash Bros Ultimate, which doesn't let you do that, I was really bummed out by that because I really wanted to record gameplay for that. But, oh well, I guess that's that. And also the console itself, while I like that it's all nice and clean and like doesn't really, and like the menus aren't really cluttered, I think it's kind of like the bare minimum honestly when it comes to Nintendo. Like you compare it to the 3DS or the Wii U or the Wii or the even maybe the, the original DS. Watch well, probably not the DS because that barely had any, you know, like things to it, but as in, as in like in terms of the menus. Um, I mean, like, if you look at the Wii, it had, like, the style of it being, like, in TV channels, which I really liked, because it's, like, different Wii channels. And, you know, I just think the Switch doesn't really have that much, I don't know, in terms of menus, it doesn't really have that much personality, but, I mean, that's not entirely a bad thing, but, well, I don't know. I think the console itself is pretty good for the most part in terms of structure other than like the kickstand which is really flimsy and and you know just stuff like I don't know a lot of stuff just feels kind of I don't know not cheap definitely not cheap but sometimes just kind of they could have done better such as the kickstand but what about the actual games well <laughs> well, you know what I'm going to say. The Switch has been absolutely incredible. It's pretty much, you know, surpassed the Wii U in terms of making great games. So I think many people probably think that the Switch has got already a ton of great games. And the Switch has already been on the market for half of the Wii U's life. And it's got a library that can rival the Wii U. Which, in my opinion, is incredible and mind-blowing, honestly. And it also just shows that Nintendo's got a new mindset now where they're just actually delivering on some proper Gucci games. I'm really sorry for using the word Gucci, but, um, I'm, you know, <laughs> I am just gonna go kill myself now. I'll be right back. But yeah, the games were really good, and still are really good, such as Smash Bros. Ultimate, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Arms, Arms, yeah, I was about to say Arms 2 then, but, uh, Splatoon 2, Mario Odyssey, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, um, Breath of the Wild, 1 2 Switch, haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and it's just, I can't believe that the Switch is already getting games like this because by the time that, I mean, the Wii U did have some great games like Mario Kart 8, Smash Bros, uh, Splatoon, Mario Maker, but those only came around like two years after the console had been around on the market. So it's like the Switch is taking two years to make an amazing library, and it took the Wii U two years to just make a few really good games. But even then, those games are kind of irrelevant now because you know there's Mario Maker 2, Smash Bros Ultimate, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and Splatoon 2. So, and you know, Nintendo's just hammered the Wii U into the ground. I mean. Not only are there some Switch ports, but there's also some 3DS ports, and, you know, just ports, ports, ports everywhere. And, speaking of which, let's get on to the ports. So, the Switch has a lot of ports, like, a lot of ports. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, um, Splatoon 2, and Splatoon 2 isn't a port, but it's a sequel, and it's pretty much the first game, but with more content, and there are just loads of ports, and there's... <laughs> Well, it's not just ports, it's sequels that take what the game did great, but the, what the Wii U games did great, and then multiplying it exponentially. Like, you know, the only game that I can think of that the Wii U has that the Switch doesn't have 
is Nintendo Land. And like other than Nintendo Land, I mean, what was there that the Switch has that the Wii U doesn't have? I mean, the only game I can think of, other than Nintendo Land, is Wii Sports Club, but that's just a remake of a game that you can buy on the Wii. So, really, the Wii U, other than like Nintendo Land, but I, but I probably think that's gonna get a, either a sequel or a port soon, or a game that's really similar to it. Other than that, there's literally no reason to get a Wii U, other than one thing that the Switch doesn't have, that the Wii U does have, that is a massive problem right now. The Virtual Console. Seriously, where is the Virtual Console? It's not like it's really difficult to program, I mean there are tons, tons of Arcade Archives games, and plus you're able to do all this stuff for the games, like have retro themes, and stuff like that, and I don't see why they can't program retro games onto it, and on a more powerful console. I mean, I don't know if it's as powerful, if it's more powerful than the Wii U, because I heard apparently, apparently, it's less powerful, but I think they'll be able to run retro games, and if they could, I think they could do GameCube games, because, you know, the GameCube adapter works for it, and, you know, I just think it would work really well, but right now they just need to make one because the thing is the only thing that's stopping the switch from becoming my favorite nintendo console is just the virtual console and the switch just i love the games for it but it just kind of feels like a bit of an incomplete console if you ask me like sure it's got youtube and hulu but i mean there just there just isn't really a whole lot to it when you get down to the actual console i mean it's in like the hardware itself is pretty cool, but just like if you look at the 3DS, you know, it had face raiders, a 3D camera, and Street Pass Me Plaza, and I know not a, not a whole lot of people usually bought the 3DS, well, for Street Pass Me Plaza, but it was still a nice little feature, and the Switch doesn't have any of that. But nonetheless, the Switch is still a great console. And after two years, I hope the library just keeps getting better and better, and the Switch just keeps living on forever. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.